Okay, everybody, I'm back in. This is gonna be a vlog about my last Toys R Us haul. Because this, I had an unpleasant experience, customer experience, at this particular Toys R Us. Now, I've been shopping there since the year, like, since the, not too long after they opened it, maybe a few days after they opened this particular store, and I've been going there since 2011. And at that time, I, I was still new to YouTube. Well, I wasn't particularly new, but this was when I started filming more videos on my first channel, but... And like I said, I've missed Toys R Us, but not that experience that caused me not to go back there. But anyway, since this, this this is the last haul I'm gonna do, I decided why not buy something there because everything is half off. So, so this is. If they lower this down some more, it won't. If they don't lower this stuff, it won't be that bad because the store is almost n nude and a lot of good stuff is gone. Barbie is gone because I need more made to move bodies because I need to get rid of some of the old bodies, I, old stiff bodies I got because those are useless. But the first thing I got today was WWE. Superstar Fashions, um, Brie Vela. She's one of the Vela twins. And this... No, this is Nikki Vela. And this is Brie Vela. And Nikki Vela was engaged to John Cena. But they said they broke up, so... And there's also a WWE gift set with her and John Cena coming. And there is another one with, um... Macho Man Randy Savage and um Miss Elizabeth rest in peace since rest in peace to both of them. But I'm gonna open these on video because this gonna be a longer video because I wanna do this unboxing in this blog while I blog about Toys R Us. But the first thing I'm gonna t say and mention in this video is my first experience at Toys R Us going in there was in 1998. I was maybe six. I think I was six at that time. And I was looking for um something. It may have been 1998 or 1999. I'm pretty sure it was 1999. Because that was the same year I got Dr. Ken and Tommy. And I got the black version of that set for my Sabbath birthday. Because Steven was very popular. Well, I, I had several Stevens in my childhood. And I still got two of the newer ones, but... I haven't bought any more because they look just the same and they're both basic in the basic line and I that I don't I'm not gonna judge the basic lines because I know I like the articulation the other Mattel lines have but the basic lines were much different when I was growing up and they actually had detailed clothes and it, what I what I was get trying to get at Toys R Us at six was the Olympic gymnast. No, it was the not it was the blue Olympics black can that was he was articulated at that time. And I think he was fifteen dollars, but I got Doctor Ken Black Doctor Ken and Tommy instead, and I that was my favorite. Um, that was the, my favorite um thing I got from Mattel in my childhood, but now. My favorite thing I bought from Mattel recently has to be the Made to Move Dark Skin Hiker. I love all the Made to Moves. I get, I get so many of the, buy so many of those bodies. I don't buy them for the dolls. I buy them for the bodies because we need. Well, this people need articulation, and I'm one of those lucky people who get so many because they be cheap around here. Cause I got so many of those bodies on clearance. Because they were like very cheap, five dollars. I got a, I got a made to move orange top. I bought a made to move orange top 2017, which was last February for four dollars. And that made to move orange top was the cheapest made to move I got at a stove. 
and that was at a Walmart. Cause my wa my Walmart sold made to move at that time. They only sold yellow top because they stopped selling blue top, pink top, and purple top at that same time. And at that same time, I at the same time they should have I should have tried to get the um purple top when she was on clearance, but I didn't. And I got a blue top in 2016 on clearance for seven dollars. That was on my birthday that year. And that's why everybody the summer fashion needs to live because because that skin tone matched her and and I didn't that was my first um that was one of the first um summers with the Leo scope that I liked because I'm not a fan of the other summer scope Mattel used with I'm trying to I'm also trying to find somewhere to move. In case I start free, in case I get lucky and start doing freelance um, toy design work, because we all know toy designers constantly get stuff. Because it, especially they design and get, they're constantly buying things to design. And I told myself this year I'm working on more customized custom um stuff, but I'm not gonna customize these because I like these like they are and they're like the wrestlers in the ring, but. And in me getting these at getting these two and attack 50% off is has made is made has made up for me getting her at regular at cost to regular price plus shipping because I got her on Amazon. I should have got it would have been better if I got her on Walmart.com slash Walmart app, but I'm glad Amazon shipped her to me quick because I just get ordered this Friday and I got this um yesterday. But I like to say is since the shipping was that quick, I'm kind of glad I paid shipping. I would have been upset if it would have took longer for me paying for shipping. So that shipping was like close to the regular Prime shipping, but because I had several, I had created so many different Amazon accounts to get the um free trial, and that was around the same time I got my first made to move. I mean, the first made to move I ordered on Amazon was the first light blue was light blue top, but I changed her for orange top because I needed orange top body. I wanted orange top bed. I got a orange top on her original body, but and the rest I donated because I actually got all six of the um first wave made to move on their original bodies and. If I get a hold of them, I'm gonna do a video on that. But back to these um WWE superstars, these are the dresses they come with. I'm glad they gave I'm glad they get well I'm glad this is sparkly because this is I think yeah that's Natalia's um super night fashion because these are um wrestlers and I like Naomi style. Cause I follow her on Instagram, and her Instagram is trendy underscore fat tattoos. And I wish Mattel made that little Tina Turner look inspired dress she wore, cause that would have been better for her than that blue dress she came with. But this is not. I didn't. Well, yes, I'm a collector, but I I'm also use my collecting ability to like. I done me collecting that inspired me more to create to um customize more um things, which is what I'm gonna do this year. When, but I'm trying to get my own place in the process because I've been saving up for, since February, and I got a pretty good amount to like find something. I know I'm not gonna move nowhere nice just yet because I I don't make that much. But now I'm opening the last one, I last WWE superstar I got, and this was I shot. They, they call these WWE superstars now because people didn't like them calling people didn't like call them WWE call these women the divas, which is what they used to be. And the last one I got was Charlotte Flair, and I wanted her when she when these came out, but I wasn't. I waited too long, but I'm glad I waited while 50% off is happening. Cause now I don't gotta spend fourteen dollars on her. 
And I know a lot of people aren't a fan of these. And they think they're ugly. But I think these are pretty sturdy. And some of these are pretty accurate to the um WWE Divas. Especially um Naomi and Charlotte Flair. Because Charlotte Flair does have her little mold on her face. And I like that they painted these differently. Because these are these are also action figures as well because of the vice. And one of the things that happen with these, with their arms, is when they be tied up, is they do get like um lighter like marks on their arms. Cause this happened with some of my um made to move. So I have, I ignore that now because that's how they package them in all these poses. And I'm glad I, I'm glad some of my stuff is in storage because. I'm I, I, I'm getting to the point where more toy companies are that more um people on Instagram have started to send me stuff. Even though I don't ask for it, I'm glad they send it to me anyway. Cause nobody, um, nobody. It's like no one supports my habit, but my Instagram friends. I'm grateful I have those. Cause a lot of this stuff I didn't expect they was gonna send me. I thought they were gonna send me something little, but. One of my Instagram friends sent me a big gift that I didn't even know I was getting. But I'm glad I made up space for that in my um bin in the closet because I don't know. Well, I'm glad, but anyway, all three of these WWE um divas are this. All three of these are are. What appears to be my last Toys R Us purchase at the moment. I may go to the other Toys R Us on the other side of town. But I'm definitely not going back to the one I used to go to. Because the selection is getting bad. And the, ma the managers are not, are not being kind to their customers. And... That upsets me because I was a fan. I've always went to that Toys R Us since they opened it. Since the year they opened it up, not even a week after they opened it up. And for somebody who wants to be a toy designer, that's not a. I told myself that's not a way you treat a customer. And the lady got mad. She said, "Oh, believe what you want." After I told her, um, the baby dolls were fifty percent off because I have a three-year-old. Cousin, we always keep in. She always playing with my um stuff when she comes over here. Even the smaller um Barbie stuff I get for my peacekeepers, I try to get her to not to play with that because she picks that up and lose it easily. But I'm glad I got her something. The um first sale they had. I mean, when it was I got her a baby alive when it was fifty percent off and it was one of the smaller ones. Cause she's three, and I'm glad that I got a black one at fifty percent. Cause the Toys R Us that I go to don't have any of the interesting black baby lives at the fifty percent off mark, off mark. But I'm glad I got her down because she drinks some wits. But and I'm gonna and I'm probably may give that to her for her birthday if not before, and I may give her something else for her birthday like. A, like, uh, like one of those little educational, um, toys that they make for the three-year-olds to help them read and stuff, but that baby alive, I got her at 50% off, was just something for me to remember Toys R Us going out of business, but, like I said, these three WWD was are my last purchase at Toys R Us. I'm gonna miss Toys R Us, and even though Toys R Us was high, they, I, I loved that they, Price matched Walmart and Target and Amazon's cheaper prices, but that's what's gonna make me miss them even more. Cause Walmart stopped price matching last year, and Toys R Us kept 
Toys R Us didn't stop price match until they start the liquidation sale. And that's that's another thing I'm kind of ticked off about. And I'm going to ask them when I, if I go to Target tomorrow. I'm going to ask them, are, are they still going to do price match because Walmart stopped? Because Walmart said they were losing too much money. Because Walmart knew that people was using price match to get um expensive stuff cheap like those like those fake Amazon listings for the cheap PlayStation 4s. I remember that, but I ain't do that because I... I bought my first PlayStation 4 on eBay and I bought my second PlayStation 4 at Walmart. At the time I got my first PlayStation 4, it was $50 cheaper, which is why I got it on eBay. And it was brand new at that time. And that was been about three years. Oh, it was finna be three years ago. But on another note is, since Toys R Us is gone, I wonder what toy collectors going to have to resort to. Cause Target and Walmart are already, I'm already upset with them because of the lack of the made to move dark skin hiker and Kirby at those stores. And both of the, and the Target, I, the Targets I normally go to only sell the, uh, the AA soccer player. And I bought many of those for the bodies to customize with. I bought the custom dump bodies I donated for cheap at Walmart last year for around seven dollars maybe, and I bought four of those at for, for um at Walmart for seven dollars. I told myself, why would I buy fourteen? Why would I want to spend fourteen ninety nine on this? And I bought this on clearance four times at Walmart, and I did. And I bought this at Walmart at or the regular price when it came out last year. So that's that's gonna be a waste of time and money, but more more likely a waste of time if I can't get it on clearance. But on another note is I'm I'm waiting to see what KD Toys gonna look like when they come back, but on another note is I Toys R Us will be missed, but and I'm kinda sad because Walmart what Toys R Us had more made to move than anybody, and, it, and I'm definitely gonna miss the buy one get one 40 and 50 percent off sales they used to do. And they sometimes they occasionally did 20 percent off as well, cause we all know Walmart ain't finna do 20 percent off, so that's out the question. And Walmart definitely ain't finna be do buy one get one 50 percent off, but since Toys R Us is gone, I hope they do. Cause they supposed to be the worst. I mean, I, they supposed to be the America's largest retailer. And as for somebody who um who um collects these and customizes these and all that, I'm trying to get to I'm trying to get to a point where I can design my own lines, and that is very hard. That's another video I need still need to work on because that's hard because. It could it's expensive to create your own lines, especially they got eight. Say, especially if you got like eight characters in your doll or extra figure line with eight face sculpts, that's gonna be that's gonna be thousands of dollars. Especially if you do like I, me, I'm planning on doing eight characters with seven skin tones. Or I want to do eight, but one of the skin tones gonna be too similar to the other, but. Also, I'm gonna see how that plays out if I if I get the funds to do that. But yeah, this is it for this video. This is part of my last Toys R Us haul slash blog, Toys R Us blog. So yeah, this is it for this video.